Okay, so it's so dark down here that it almost doesn't make sense to show you how what I did today, but right behind me where you see that like that emptiness there, I cleared that area today. I threw a lot of that stuff away, and that's all I'm gonna do for today. And like I told you earlier, I'm going to take some things to donate to the Goodwill, and I have like some shoes and stuff that I'm gonna see if I can sell. If not, then I'll donate those as well. But just showing you that is a prime example of how you can make extra if you needed to or wanted to. And sometimes I take the funds and donate it and help someone else or someone in need, you know, whatever you want to do. So that's going to conclude um, this for now because I don't think there's anything else I want to show you today. So I'll see you later on in the week. Good morning, guys. So today I'm just gonna give you a little brief update and also for those who are following me because they're interested in doing this as a business. So I try to, you know, do that because some people just wanna do it personal for personal use, you know, just to take care of their home better. But a lot of you are interested in the business. So I try to do this, you know, primarily to help you guys out. So <clears throat> Little update, um, yesterday you saw me um, pretty much trying to determine what stays, what needs to be trashed, what could possibly be sold. Um, I had to do a little counseling as well. Um, I was successful, you know, just probably about mm, a scale of one to 10 or probably about a four. But, you know, that is pretty normal for um, hoarders. It's really hard for them to let things go. Um, there were a lot of things that was there that, you know, I just didn't even show you. Makeup, clothes, makeup that wasn't even out of the packaging, makeup bags, new stuff, all kind of new things. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, some of those things that they don't want, just letting you guys know who are interested in making this a business, is that you can take those things and you can sell them, you can keep them, you can donate them to charity like Goodwill, uh, Kidney Foundation, uh, you can give it to someone on the street that's homeless, whatever you want to do. But most of those things that you can do is definitely a tax write-off. Now, I don't know about you giving it to someone on the streets because you won't have a receipt or anything proving that you gave it away. But, you know, morally, if you have a big heart and you see someone that is in need, by all means, give it away because it will come back to you tenfold. So what I'm doing now is trying to figure out how many actual bins I'm going to need. And, you know, because there are some things that need to go in bins. I would love to do a total transition there where I do a basement epoxy floor, um, put some shelving up, but we can't do that until we take care of the mold and water damage. Uh, there's a problem there with water, so we can't do any of that until we can take care of the main source because otherwise that would be defeating the purpose. Uh, never fix it up like permanently until you've taken care of the real problem. I'm still not going to throw those boxes away until I find out if there's anything else in the house like upstairs or something that needs to be thrown out because unless you can walk inside the bit um, unless you can walk inside the dumpster which they are uh, you are able to walk inside them they have latches on them but since I've already thrown things in there and um, a lot of stuff is laying against that, that, that door where you can open it, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but and I don't even know if I can. I don't even know if I know how. <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, I'm not gonna do it. Um, so I'm gonna make sure there are, aren't any other large things. I, I threw away a microwave, you know, any type of, Big appliances and stuff, you saw me throw away shelves, ready-made shelving that's been there forever, really old. She wanted me to keep it and clean it off and paint it, but I told her, no, we're going to get some new stuff And if she didn't mind. Because you have to be very, very careful how you talk to people that are hoarders, 
because they're very sensitive about their things. And even though you know over half the stuff is junk, but you can't really say that. So anyway, so that's all we're doing today. It's gonna count some bins, figure out some sizes of some bins, see if there's anything else big that needs to go in the dumpster. If so, I'm not gonna do that today. Today I'm gonna get all the things that's for sale, gather those things up, gather the things up that are for the Goodwill, and we're gonna call it a day. Um, the next time I'm gonna throw away the boxes and probably clean the two windows in the basement. She has new blinds that she wants up in the basement because those have been there forever as well. And just freshen it up. I did a lot of sweeping yesterday, sweeping up that they call that snake away stuff. Um, I swept away a lot of trash and leaves and sticks that has accumulated uh, for decades, trapped behind some ladders next to the wall. One of the ladders she expressed that she wants to throw out. So that's something I'm gonna put in the dumpster last because like I said, I wanna make sure I make good use of this dumpster because sometimes you can throw too many things in there too fast and then realize that if you had thrown the stuff in a certain order you could have gotten more inside so anyway that's it guys i'm going to give you a sneak peek of what it looks like um you know from yesterday but that's going to be it and i will definitely see you soon i'll see you there okay client which I hate to say that but it's true and that's the only way you guys will be able to know who I'm talking about what client I'm talking about I think my lips are chapped or dry but anyway I digress I'm here in Target to pick up a broom and a dustpan because my client's broom looks like it was from the 1800s uh, has no bristles and she doesn't have or they I should say they don't have a um, dustpan so it's included in the price and sometimes I go over and beyond to uh, well I should say it's not included in the price but sometimes I go over and beyond for my clients um, and I'm letting you know that because that's how you get repeated service and uh, you become an asset. So I've already gotten another client that called me from um, about four years ago and need help again. So that's just how you build your clientele. You leave a good uh, reputation and you will always have uh, referrals. I got referred uh, by a realtor for the client that I had four years ago. So I have to go over and see her again as soon as I finish this job. So just want to tune in and keep you guys updated. Okay, so we have the Clorox broom and dustpan for $13.99. I just wonder if it's a good broom or not. Sometimes they are cheaply made the bristles and this is a good brand but I don't like how small the bristles are it's not very wide and it's $15.99 or $14.99 um, so hmm I really wanted this brand because they their their brooms seem to really hold up for a long time. Casa Bella is just cute, cute little stuff, but some of their products are, aren't always that practical. They're just kind of cute. I think these bristles, this is not big enough anyway, it's really small. So they don't have old cedar. So, hmm. may end up with the Clorox one. I don't know. We'll see.
way. These are not the Tupperware from back in the day. These are not your grandma's Tupperware. They're just as cheap as the ones that are two and three bucks. They're not even as expensive as the real Tupperware used to be. You would have to pay, pay like for instance, this container here, back in the day, would cost you about $20 for one. But they were sturdy, very, very sturdy. Yeah, what about, oh, like that one is 15. It's for the freezer. Okay. Well, you know, you can't come in Target without looking at other stuff. <laughs> and when you're traveling a lot and really busy, it's always good to have some snacks in the car with you um, so that you're not just grabbing and eating different things while you're out until you can get lunch. Um, but I look for peanut butter crackers that are low in sodium. And my favorite is Lance. These are very high in sodium. I like Lance. They're not as high in sodium salt, but um, I don't see them. So I may end up with these from Target, the Target brand, which is good and gather. As long as they're not as high in sodium as the Lance, I'll probably get them. That price is very tempting compared to that price. Well, let me check out the sodium intake. Let's see. Sodium. 220. Ooh, 20. 2230, I think that's what it says. So let me see. That sounds pretty high. Because I think you're not supposed to get over 2,000 grams or something like that in a day. I don't have any health issues and, and I'm trying to prevent from having any and I always try to watch my sodium intake. So, okay. Hmm. Y'all, I need my glasses. Let me see. I can't see worth nothing. When it's time to read, I need my glasses. I've been wearing glasses since, what, seven, eight years ago? Reading glasses, let me see. Okay, okay that says 300. And this is... Oh, I feel bad. I said 2230. <laughs> I was going to say that's a lot. 230. So good and gather wins. <laughs> and I have some water. I like to keep water in the car. And that's the broom for the client. I got the wide broom because it can cover, it has more coverage area. You can cover more area with this one. Hopefully, the bristles are stiff enough because I don't want to stop anywhere else because old cedar is what I wanted.
ice in my veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Again, I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend. That's right, in the AM, that's my only friend. No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon. I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb. A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines. And I'm through passing time, I choose stacking dimes. You snooze half the time while I move passing by. Uh. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say That's right, in the AM, that's my only friend. No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon. I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb. A new class divine, yeah, true. I'm through passing time, I choose second dimes. You snooze half the time while I move past the by. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Okay, here's an update. You see, starting to see some clearance here. Looking better, much, much clearer than it was before. Um, you know, it is a basement and there are some things that's gonna get, uh, I'm gonna discard later or donate later, but it's much clearer down here. I got rid of a lot of wood. It was tons of wood up there. I didn't get a chance to get the rest of that wood down before the lady came with the dumpster truck, with the dump truck and picked up the dumpster. Um, I'm just sweeping off some of this up here. There's a lot of old tools and everything. I'll make a decision on those things later. 
but I'm just kind of organizing them, getting them all in one location is the main goal for today. Um, this window here, really nasty. So I'm going to wipe it out and there's a blind, a new blind that's going up. She wants a blind up. I wouldn't put a blind up down here in the basement, but she wants one up. Um, so I'm going to put a new blind up and so as you can see here, there's a lot of garden tools, not as many as it was. Some of them are antique tools. So I would like to keep them and decide later what to do with them. There's some coolers over there. She wanted to discard them, but they were nice. So I kept them because you never know when you may need a cooler for something. It was based on her lifestyle, which made me decide to keep it. Um, yeah, I need to do some sweeping over here. This is behind the furnace. So my ideal thing is to put the uh, filters up here, um, light bulbs and stuff up here, for, for fluorescent light bulbs I'm gonna hang up here. Um, it's not gonna be the best yet, because like I said, there's some work that needs to be done down here first. So I just wanna get it looking more presentable, just presentable for now. And over here, um, this is gonna be donated right here, this weight bench. It's supposed to be something that does like a total body going to be donated um these things i'm going to eventually put them in like bins or something but for now i'm going to stack them up somewhere a little bit neater uh yeah there's some water damage down here so that's the reason for me putting a lot of the organization on hold but i like i said i want it clean and just a little bit more organized than it's been in decades as you can see, all this is nice and clean and swept up now. Don't pay attention to the wall. Like I said, water damage. Um, there's a ton of cans that the uh, company would not take. The, dumps, the junk company wouldn't take these cans. So I have another plan for these to get rid of these. These are what's left over. I've been getting rid of uh, four or five of them at a time. And... Um, is cleaner over here keep in mind this is a basement floor uh, also after everything is repaired we we're talking about doing an epoxy floor down here which is going to be gorgeous really really gorgeous so once a lot of the work important work has been done that is going to be something that we're going to do last here's the blind that was hanging up it was filthy so here's, let me give you a better view here. Here's the overall look. Um, as I said, I'm not done. Um, I'm gonna come back and show you what I did for today. As I said, this is not the complete work. This is a phase, another phase. So this is it. Looking much, much better.
truck. Oh, you good. You good. That ain't no good. That ain't no grass.